Now, the Duke of Edinburgh presented operational service medals to 30 wounded soldiers in Aldershot today. In total, 178 medals were handed out to members of the 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards. Claire Sadler sent this report. Prince Philip was here today in his capacity as Colonel of the Regiment. He took time to chat to those who'd been injured as he handed out their medals. He was joined by Prince Edward, who presented campaign medals to the Guardsmen of Income and Company. Well, it's really significant. Um, it's um, kind of like the, the end of an era type thing. We've been there six months and it's good to celebrate the fact that we're all back safe for most of us and celebrate the people that gave their lives and some of them limbs for um, the battalion. It's the end of Herrick 16. It's, um, it was an opportunity to make the guys feel special, um, a recognition of what they've achieved but also uh, to put an arm round the families of the bereaved and the families of the wounded. Um, and we were just really very lucky to have the Duke of Edinburgh uh, and the Earl of Wessex here with us today uh, to make everyone feel special. So from our perspective, it's worked brilliantly. The soldiers of Income and Company returned from Afghanistan at the end of September to very relieved and happy loved ones. The battalion spent their tour in Nari Siraj, one of the most hostile operating environments in Afghanistan. And while today is a day of celebration, thoughts are with the loved ones of those who didn't make it home. Lance Corporal Dwayne Groom, Guardsman Carl Whittle, Guardsman Jamie Shadrick, Lance Corporal James Ashworth and Guardsman Michael Rowland, all of 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards, were killed while on tour. For these soldiers, though, it's now time for some well-deserved post-operational tour leave. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Aldershot.